DVM's coming at you with an update on the barn. Um, as many of you know, this is kind of a final shot of bringing in the sand from one of our last videos on the barn update. Um, fall is upon us and we tried to squeeze some concrete in. So uh, again, we took the skid steer and finished putting that sand in. These are some of the shots you've probably seen on the previous video. And then uh, once we got this done, you know, of course, we, we leveled the arena with the skid steer the best we could. This is how it turned out. And then we uh, turned our attention to the doors, um, particularly the big door in the front. One of the things that we wanted to make sure we got done was an apron before the uh, winter snows set in. And uh, we barely made it, trust me of that. Um, we're not even using the apron yet, we're still letting it uh, cure. But, uh, you know, we dug out about a foot and a half hole and put a nice base in the bottom with some gravel and stuff. And, and then we um, threw some rebar in it in kind of a horizontal pattern and then some bracing across it. And then in came the concrete. It had to be a quick pour. Weather was turning ugly quick. We weren't going to be able to uh, withstand it much longer before we ended up with some really cold frosty nights and then, you know, some uh, rain and stuff and sleet and snow. So had to get this done quick. Um, Preferred, which is our local concrete company in town, came in ASAP on short notice. Um, the guys squeezed it in on a, on a more of a Saturday type visit, which is good and um, out came the concrete. We had to kind of build ourselves a frame and we continued it around to the inside of the door so that when you step in the door you've got a nice concrete pad there too. We made it nice and deep because it is going to have to take the tractors going over it and of course the weight of the horse going over it. So it took a little bit of work um, but it all went well. It's about uh, maybe an hour and a half pour and then maybe a couple hours worth of you know finishing and smoothing and stuff. Uh, this really kind of set us up for winter. We're finally able to shut the door on the concrete and you know kind of make the barn a little bit more uh, airtight for the the winter months uh, you know the only thing I can say is it's a, it's a great team to work with Sean and his guys um, they pour quick they pour fast uh, which is nice um, we had to kind of lift the rebar up as you can see it we wanted to settle deep into the hole and we kind of wanted it about midway so kind of had to pick it up as we poured the concrete um, you know it went went smooth though um, this concrete does have a little added salt in it to help it uh, cure faster uh, just because of the cold winter months. You know, we didn't want to be sitting here in the 1st of December with a foot of snow on the ground and this stuff still trying to cure. It would have just taken forever. So um, it worked out pretty good. Um, one thing I always prefer uh, that we do when we do this concrete stuff is just get it deep enough, get enough rebar in it, and, you know, try to, try to defeat the, the crappy clay soil that we have around here. These guys are so used to it, um, you know, it's it's something they live with every day, you know. I mean, I understand concrete cracks, but you don't want it to move all over the place and, you know, be so on level that your your door can't shut on it. So this is the pour. Pour went pretty smooth in all areas. Uh, we did end up just kind of pouring right through the middle of the door. When we get to the door, we'll show you a shot of that. But it, it really went good. Um, as far as the surface of it, um, I asked them not to completely smooth it. It's slippery as heck to walk on in the winter, um, so we left a little bit of roughness to it. But it really, it really went well. Um, I'm very pleased. The whole distance is is a little under two feet. I think it's about 23 inches, so it's a 23 inch apron. Um, and like I said, the average depth is is actually over a, a foot deep. Um, but that's okay. We wanted it nice and strong. Um, as it as it crossed over, it's got a lot of rebar in it. And like I said, we made a nice barn door pad. And then I added uh, pavers here in front. I chose not to put um, concrete there in front because I already have pavers on the other door. Really wanted the two doors to kind of match. I found some nice landscaping rocks buried in the property, so I power washed them off and brought them up. And my wife, um, you know, helped me kind of place those strategically so it looks kind of cool. And, you know, a little bit of a block from hitting it from things when you're plowing and stuff, too. Um, the uh, whole process, the whole project, uh, didn't cost much. Um, I think the whole bill on this was like five, six hundred bucks. So it wasn't a, it wasn't a killer financially to get done. But this part of the project kind of solidifies the arena part, allows us now to enjoy it all winter long, and uh, we shouldn't have any any major issues. Think about the last thing here we're going to do with the arena is is probably put up some dressage numbers um, around the edge of the arena and stuff uh, makes it a little easier for the girls to learn when you can tell them to head towards A or head towards E or something like that you know so might still do that but uh, otherwise I think work for this barn for the time being is gonna slow down quite dramatically um, and that's fine uh, that's the way the winter months go here in Minnesota 
uh, the video itself, um, you know, I certainly appreciate you guys watching, but if you want to see more on this barn and the build, um, we have a time lapse on it, we've got the sand video on it, I've got the arena wall video, so feel free to click up in the corner and uh, follow through on some of these videos. I'll put the playlist up. Thanks for watching, folks. Have a wonderful day.